How's it going guys? It's going off grid and we are about to do an 82 kilometer trip with the leaf and cold weather. As you can see we do have snow. It's uh, hovering around zero. It's not as cold as it uh, has been. I will not be using heat or anything just because this is the upper limits of this car and I'm not even 100% sure I'll make it but I do have the backup charger in the back and there is another, there is a charger on the way. So if I have to, I will be stopping and I'll give you guys an, a feel for what it's like to drive a Nissan Leaf. Uh, it's not I stink 82 kilometers as you mean that far, but it's about, I don't know, about an hour of driving. Uh, if you're not on the highways and if you're on the highways, it's under an hour. Anyways, here we go. So we're in the car. It's saying 56 kilometers till empty. It's a good thing that's not completely accurate, but uh, we might not be able to go 82. We'll find out. This might be a longer trip than I anticipate. Battery is fairly cold. Uh, get this whole thing here. There we go. And let's go on a little trip. So it's a little bit more promising. We got 35 kilometers to go. 57 kilometers uh, on the range. That'll probably go up, doing about 76, pick it up to 80. Try to take as little power as possible driving. That's the whole struggle with an EV. I have up to 80 kilowatts I can push into the motor, but it's not gonna get me very far. So we are, just just cruising, doing 80, doing the speed limit. If I have somebody behind me, I usually speed up a bit for them, but uh, today I won't be. Today I gotta make my destination. And currently, I've got a little lull in between work, so I'm gonna be saving every penny possible. So this is one way, instead of driving with the, the diesel Jeeps, I'm gonna drive my Nissan Leaf to drop this thing off, <coughs> save an extra, I don't know what that would be, 15 bucks on fuel. This doesn't sound like a lot, but hey, you know what? That's a extra meal. Anyways, get back to you if anything interesting happens. One more thing I wanted to add, the regenerative braking is almost non-existent. Uh, Take the next left onto water. Simcoe County Road 88. As you can see, I'm slowing down. It's doing a little bit, but hardly anything. That's my regenerative braking. It could be because of the cold as well. It could be a combination of both, but uh, yeah. Anyways, here we go. I just picked up some food. I've driven like 12, 13 kilometers, and I still have the same kilometers left, but I'm down to nine battery bars out of 12. So I think we're gonna be pretty close. I'm now using the heated seat because uh, I did get kind of cold. So, that's what we're doing so far. All right, we're on the highway, doing about 95, 30 kilometers to empty. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have enough to make it back. I'm gonna have to hit that charger. We'll see. I think it's 34 kilometers to get there. We're almost there, but uh, yeah. Ah, that's too bad. Anyways, here we are. Well, guys, I made it to my destination with 16 kilometers to go. Oh, boy. I got 34 kilometers, I think, to get home. So I'm going to go stop off at a charger and see if I can charge there for a bit. <coughs> but dang, this car is useless with this battery. Oh well, what can you do? Yeah. What do I got here? Battery's warmed up. <coughs> I think this battery only has about 12 or 13, maybe 14 kilowatt hours of usable power for the car, which does not get you very far. At least we've got some downhill coming up, so that's good. Get us going. And yeah, I'll see you at the charger. Well, 
not looking good people we only got 10 kilometers two battery bars and we are three kilometers away from the charger so hokey so this thing let's see it was pretty accurate at first when it said about uh, 58 kilometers <coughs> that's about we drove 41 plus back here eight kilometers 49 so by the time we get to, do, to the charger that'll be 49 kilometers and we'll have what like seven left so yeah this car is only going 60 kilometers now per charge oh my goodness that's terrible anyways here we go regional uh, road eight for three kilometers guys that's the problem with electric cars and these stupid uh apps there is no charging station here i looked everywhere it was saying going to a subdivision it was like somebody had it in their house had it public and then took it away i don't know what the heck happened but now i am stranded i need to go 35 kilometers and i only got nine. Oh, and we got a red light so i'm gonna be using my battery pack and we're gonna see if we can get home on what i got on my backup power we're about to find out you guys are gonna find out with me or I'm gonna be stranded on the side of the road. I have to call a tow truck. Should have brought my generator. I didn't want to bring the generator though because it uh, weighs so much extra. Plus I don't want to sit in the car the whole time and wait three hours while the thing charges. I'd rather just get a tow truck, I guess. We'll see, we might make it home. We'll find out. Come along for the ride with me. Oh, well, here we go. It wants me to hop on the highway. There's no way I'm hopping on the highway with this low of a charge. Not happening. So, I'm going to continue to take these back roads. Because I will be running out of power shortly. Yeah. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Well, I'm going to really start taking it slow now. Just so I can make it somewhere. Uh, I know where there's another charger close to home. I know there's always chargers that don't pop up on the maps, but uh, I don't think I can make it there. I'm going to have to pull over, charge for a bit, and then uh, maybe go a little further. Uh, yeah. Anyways, we'll wait till the, we'll go right till the car stops moving. Then I'll plug it in and uh, decide if I'm going to call a tow truck or if I'm going to continue uh, the way I'm going. I can't, ah, that's so annoying that the stinking, there just was not a charger there. Power, what is it, uh, charge point. The app brought me to a spot in the middle of nowhere. It actually took me out of my way, eight, eight kilometers almost out of my way to where there is no charger. I probably could have made it home if I just didn't go there. Uh, but I was trying to, trying to take the safe way now it's not looking very good like I'm climbing this hill I have no power whatsoever I have to slow it down even more it's taking too much power to get up this stupid hill <laughs> still doing 60 it's going to really slow down eventually though holy smokes nice views though literally in the middle of nowhere wow farmland anyways at least there's nobody behind me nobody's trying to uh, pass me while I go slow here just trying to use as little power as possible just to keep moving we'll see how far I get if I can make a way to some other charger that would be fantastic we'll see I have to look it up. Uh oh, we just went to no kilometers left. Climbing this giant hill, another one. I'm slowing down to try and conserve power. Again, there's no cars around me, so this is nice. Oh my goodness. Looks like we're not going to make it much farther. Returning on to. A road just up ahead hopefully that's not busy either there we go we're at the top of the hill at least and just coast down it here we go 
I did not expect this trip to go this badly. I was hoping to at least be able to charge for an hour at the charger and then make it In home. 400 meters, turn right onto Queensville Side Road, York Regional Road 77. Signs for Regional Road 77, Queensville Road. Well, one thing I noticed is my regen's coming back quite a bit with the battery being this dead. When I come to stops, it uh, actually goes past 10 kilowatts, so that's interesting. Oh boy. to another stop. Oh, well, I gotta say I'm pleasantly surprised by the reserve c capacity after it goes into this mode that we have here. I haven't even hit uh, reduced power yet. Got 22 kilometers to go. I doubt we're gonna make it, but I mean, it's actually a lot more reserve capacity than I would expect. Like this last bar is not one bar's worth. This last bar is probably like two or three bars of equivalent, I would think. Like, I am driving really slow, doing 60. Uh, actually, it, I'm doing 60 to 60, so I'm not even driving that slow. Like, there's your speed limit right there. So we're not driving too slow. Uh, yeah. It's very interesting. You can see on my uh, odometer there how far I've driven. This is all in one charge of this battery, this worn out battery. Let's see if we can make it home. If, even if we can just make it to that one charger, I doubt we can make it to that charger, but oh well. Coming for a ride with me, guys. This has turned out a lot worse than I thought, but also better than I thought as well. We've made it back quite a bit further than I thought we would, so we'll see. What have I done? Took this back road and it's horrible. It's like, worst of the worst horrible. <laughs> the potholes are huge. Oh my goodness. Well, you're still going. Still got no power. Just crawling at 22 through these insanely big potholes. Like, oh my goodness definitely should not have taken this road doing a pretty good job avoiding most of them but dang never would have thought this road would be so bad anyways we're getting close to that uh, charger I was hoping to make it to probably got another five kilometers Let's see if we'll make it if we can make five kilometers we're golden then I can charge there and we'll make it home no problem Anyways, keep you guys updated as we go. Here we go. Well, I just hit motor power limited. Wow. All right, we're almost at the charger though. I think we might just make it, maybe. I am thoroughly impressed with how far this car, man, this car went a third of what its total range is on, on this blinking dash bar. Like there was nothing left and I've been driving for like 30 kilometers or so maybe 25 kilometers which is crazy for a car like this put my flashers on oh nobody's behind me I'll turn them back off anyways we're almost there I think we're gonna make it guys I think we're good holy smokes guys we made it just in front of us as long as this thing doesn't kick out now we are good wow you can look at my odometers how far we have driven on uh, pretty much no battery that's amazing thank you food basics for uh, having electric vehicle charging my wife's gonna pick me up here and we'll just let it charge for an hour or so and then I will be able to get home we are pretty close to home, but I'm not going to change the extra 10 to 20 or 10 to 15 kilometers. No, 10 kilometers, I think it is, to get home. So, yep, here we are. Doo -doo -doo. Looks like we had another, I don't know, is that an electric vehicle? I don't know. Somebody parked in the electric vehicle spot. That's all right. We're 
we're gonna park in this spot. Well, we made it, guys. Wow. Let's charge this baby. Well, guys, we made it. Awesome. This trip actually turned out not too bad. Actually, not bad at all. That's awesome. It should be charging at 3.7 kilowatts because this car doesn't have the upgraded 6.6 uh, .6 that I wish I had. So that would help like crazy if we had that but uh, it doesn't i'll maybe I'll look into upgrading that anyways we're gonna just uh, sit here for a bit and let her charge it doesn't really give you any information anything like that unless uh, i plug into the code reader at the bottom here but uh yeah thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video just showing what this car can do and what it can't do. And what it can't do is it can't drive very far. Anyways, see you later.